Hey everybody, welcome to my channel ASP.NETCore and today I'm going to show you uh, how to use absolute layout and uh, uh, flex layout in .NET MAUI. So uh, first of all discuss about the absolute layout. So just add a new page in the uh, solution that is uh, absolute layout demo. So .NET MAUI and content XML page. absolute demo okay so in the first page first of all define in the app.xml file that is absolute demo okay so just save this and uh, in the app after the save this file uh, just use absolute layout in the absolute layout first of all add two button control that text is button one and button 2 oops both buttons are actually depend on two properties absolute layout bounds and absolute layout flags and uh, also define the x y property and the width and the height property so just a structural based absolute layout so just save this and you can see the output first of all without any uh, uh, properties uh, any defined properties of the absolute layout dot bounds and the uh, flags so first of all uh, start this movie tutorials and here you can see both buttons are attaching to each other wait for some times and you will see the outputs in the windows machine uh, only uh, second button is visible the first one is not visible because the priority of the second button is higher so the second button is visible but if you define that uh, the fly uh, absolute layout bounds absolute layout dot layout bounds actually layout bounds is defined on uh, four uh, parameters that is the x first one is x coordinate second one is y and third one is the width and the last one is the height and the second one property is actually defined absolute layouts dot layout flags actually layout flag is uh, directly related to the layout bounds when uh, any uh, one is selected then effect uh, those layout bounds so first of all discuss in the latter after a few seconds first of all define x property that is 100 y is also 100 uh, 200 and the width is uh, 100 and height is also 100 that is the square uh, button is created the first button is actually blast just after the second button and you can see the output so absolute layout dot layout bounds is defined x y property width and the height property and you can see the outputs of uh, the paste demo here you can see that the square button is created just after the button second okay so uh, you can also define the um, in the percentage like uh, 0 0.5 and the 0.5 0.5.5 means I mean to say that width and the height is actually half of your uh, of your uh, windows machine okay so, uh, or you can say the layouts because the one is the full size and the point one is the minimum and the one is the maximum so 0.5 is the high half positions of the button But you can see a button is not visible because uh, that property is actually depends on flags so absolute layout dot layout flags and uh, that is the size proportional comma that is the height proportional so just save this property and just again windows run on it on the windows machine so half the width and the half of the uh, height is mentioned in the button one xy coordinate is a uh, similar so these are better one button one 
so understood very well about the absolute layout because the only two properties are there layout bounds and the layout flags the next uh, uh, layout is the flex layout so just add a new item that is flex layout demo. flex demo and in the app.saml file just set flex demo okay in the flex layout page you can see here we have two buttons already uh, in the flex layout so just add flex layout flex layout is actually depend on the directions so the default direction is the row wise and the you uh, the direction property is uh, column wise so here we have a two button controls the text of the button one is button one uh, okay the second is the button second <coughs> but bo both buttons are aligned uh, in the row so you can see and the size of the button is also the bigger size uh, and you can say that the size of the button is similar to your windows and here you can see the outputs here you can see the output <coughs> also you can set the size or uh, direction of the fl uh, flex layout direction is column wise i mean to say that your uh, both buttons are arranged in the in is looking like the stack and here you are your answer your buttons are visible in the uh, column so uh, you can see the outputs uh, design a simple flex layout page uh, there is a simple uh, flex layout page here you can see here we have a flex layout with the direction is column you understand very well but you notice that the in the first uh, label control is uh, according to the set uh, that is the text is header horizontal text alignment center background color is blue but notice that the second element of the flex layout is also a flex layout so flex layout container uh, is contain uh, a nested flex, uh, flex layout and you notice that the flex layout property is a grow property dot flex layout dot grow is one i mean to say that uh, the flex layout the first column that is the header and the second column uh, instead of flex layout that is the second column that is the footer so header and the footer in between the space is occupied by the flex layout so header and the footer in between the space is occupied by flex layout so that mean is the grow property that is the one that is the full space is occupied by the flex layout okay uh, and in in between the space you can assign the first label that is the content uh, text is content that is align center vertical align center but you notice that the flex layout dot grow property is one i mean to say that and also the background color is green the second is the box uh, layout uh, box view and the flex layout dot grow property is clear flex layout dot basis basis i mean to say that that define the width property and the flex layout dot order is minus one that is means that box view is defined uh, and aligned in the left side and that box view is aligned in the right side so the label control is aligned center because you can see the flex layout dot draw property is assigned one okay so in between the box and the both box view assign label in the center position so you can see the output the first is a header second one is the footer in in between the space is occupied by this property flex layout dot grow is one so the flex layout is occupied by this and in the center position because the flex layout is also the one per first position uh, in between the box layout so here we have a header and that is the footer and the left this is the left panel and this is the right panel or and the in between content is the 
center position so here we have a center position and that is the minus one i mean to say that that is the red and the next one is the oranges so that is not visible but in the mobile screen it is visible and here you can see the output is actually red and orange so uh, that is the flex layout okay so under uh, understood very well i think uh, it is clear mm, both properties that is the direction properties that is the grow properties that is the basis properties and the order properties of the flex layout thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core movie thank you very much